Well, she is a boxer, an author, and the star of a documentary film. Now, Jessalyn Silva is in the fight of her life, battling a tough cancer diagnosis, but she's not letting it get her down. So when I first started to box, kids inside my school were telling me, oh, girls aren't supposed to be boxing. This was Jessalyn Silva in 2017, a small but mighty force in the ring. Her boxing style, that of a seasoned fighter. Her nickname, Jessilla. Jessilla Silva. Her determination and motivation unmatched at the ripe old age of 10. Jessalyn has won multiple titles, a gold medal at USA Boxing's Junior Olympics. She ranked number one in the country twice. She's a published author, and she's been followed by a documentary film crew since she was 10, because by all accounts, Jessalyn was headed to the 2024 Olympics. She even appeared on the Today Show twice. One, one, two. But last year, at 15 years old, she complained to her dad about headaches and blurry vision. Got the MRIs done after the um, eye doctor visit, and um, comes to find out there was a tumor in her brain. Jessalyn was diagnosed with a diffuse midline glioma, brain cancer. It is inoperable, and there's no cure. I'm not afraid. I'm not afraid. I'm just going to be right back in the gym, right back in the boxing ring that I love. Sitting with us in her New Jersey home just 10 weeks after radiation to attempt to shrink the tumor, Jessalyn was much more eager to talk about her love for boxing. I started thinking that this is what I wanted to do for the rest of my life when I was like seven. As a parent, it's beautiful to see that growth and to see her, like, what she accomplished, all her accomplishments. So she taught me what, like, hard work. You put in hard work, you will get results. She taught me that. She's fearless. I see that. <laughs> Pedro Silva is a single dad, raising Jessalyn and her younger brother, Josiah, while supporting her Olympic journey. No matter how far I got, he, he was always by my side, so... I love him for that. Of course. Your biggest fan? Yeah. Your biggest fan. He is definitely my biggest fan. You'd never know the prognosis is grim. Jessalyn's attitude is bright, and her spirit is as strong as it's always been. You seem to have no fear. It's just another fight. And I just beat that one up, and I'm right back to boxing. When I wake up for a new day, I just, I just think positive about it because... Anything could go wrong throughout your day, and it could still be good. Your day could still be good. It, even if it's just one minute of your day that's good, the whole day's good. She has the true spirit of a fighter. The DMG and DIPG are cancers of the midline and the brain stem. They almost always affect children, usually under the age of 10, and there is no cure. There is a lot of promising research, though, immunotherapies, direct drug delivery, full transparency. I do a lot of work with a charity, the Christian Rivera Foundation, trying to find a cure for this very cancer that takes young children way too soon. And as we bring Maria in, mm -hmm. Maria, there's some information on my social media. I know you're familiar with the Christian yep. Rivera Foundation as well. Mm -hmm. Important research out of Wild Cornell and Memorial Sloan uh, happening right now. But to be given essentially what is a terminal diagnosis for your child is really mm. something that is, is unimaginable. And when you look at Jessalyn's spirit, her dad's spirit, I mean, they are such an inspiration. I think we can all learn from them. Uh, beyond uh, inspiring, what a sweetheart and so wise. I'm just so wise. blown away mm -hmm. by her poise and amazing, amazing. We appreciate you sharing that story with us, uh, Darlene, for sure. All right, uh, let's stay.